Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. In this video, I want to show you real quickly how to fix a mid server that's been auto invalidated. I couldn't find much on my own when I searched for this, so I thought I'd make a video since I figured it out. And let's get started. So the symptom was my mid server went down. I had set up a mid server on um, my Mac using Docker and I went and checked on it and it was just down. It was said shut down, hook entered, and it was no longer running. So I stopped it in Docker and restarted it. And when I do this, if you watch on the screen behind me here, it will actually flip the status back to um, up from down as it reboots, right? So as the server comes back up and then it'll automatically shut itself down again. So let's just go ahead and watch it here. Uh, we should see that status flip from down to up. Uh, there it is, just changed to up and then it goes immediately back down. I actually have a rule in my instance, not a rule of flow that automatically creates an incident for me whenever my mid server goes down. So you might want to check that out if, uh, if you're interested in something like that. So now I know, okay, something's wrong. It keeps going back down. If I go check Docker, you can see it's shut down hook is entered again. So it keeps going down. And I was like, what the heck? So if I scroll down to the issues here for this mid server, I have two of them. This one for file discovery, I don't really care about. But the second one, mid server has been auto invalidated and cannot be started until an auto invalidation status is cleared. I was like, well, WTF, what do I do? Is that on the mid server itself? Is that here in service now? And it turns out it's here in service now. So let's go back um, and look at this form for a mid server. Notice I don't have any field called auto invalidated. Um, let's just check a different couple of views here. Let's go to advanced. Um, there is actually a field. I know it's there because I went and found it for auto invalidated and it's true or false. So I'm not seeing it here in the advanced view. I'm not seeing it in the default view and I really don't care about the discovery view because uh, right now I'm not using it for discovery. But if we go back to our list view of all of my mid servers, I should see um, all of the columns here, right? And I went ahead and added this auto invalidated column in the upper right. You can see it there. And notice it says true for my Mac one, but false for my Windows Docker. And uh, all I did to do that was added this field auto invalidated. So let's go ahead and remove it and see what it looks like without it. Let's go ahead and add it back. Auto invalidated, move that over to the right. And I'm just going to double click that instead of putting it on my form. And I'm going to set that. Oop, I can't. I can't change that. That's interesting. Security prevents writing to that field. All right, well, let's fix this. Um, we'll go into Mac OS. And let's add this field to our form. Get a good little lesson in uh, form builder here. And I want my auto invalidated field. And I'm going to turn it. I'm going to put it right underneath this validated. So let's just drag and drop it. Uh, oh, I'm in the wrong scope. Okay, that's fine. So let's switch to global scope since this is a mid server and not Justin's house application. All right, good. I should be able to edit this now. Auto invalidated, put it right below that validated one. I'm going to hit save and then we'll go check out that form and see. I'll cross my fingers, see if we can edit it here. Reload the form. And there's that auto invalidate. Okay, so it's still locking us out of it. We can't uncheck it. This is interesting. Um, I've never had this happen before. Yes, my server was idle. Um, I don't know why that matters or not, but everything on this forum is locked down. Um, interesting. And it must be a UI policy. Let's go into Form Builder and see. Is that actually set to read only? No, it's not set to read only, but there is a UI policy. Make mid server updated fields read only. Uh, reverse if condition is false. Okay, that's fine. Um, we can work around this by using um, a script. Since we cannot edit here from here, we're going to have to write a script to change that value. I actually don't know if this is going to work or not. Um, I hope it does because I, need, I want my server back up and running. <laughs> I want to close those incidents that got open for me. So let's go to scripts background and uh, I'm going to paste in a script that I worked on. Um, so let me walk you through it here. Essentially what I'm doing is I'm doing a Glide query by creating a um, Glide record for ECC underscore agent, which is where the mid servers live. And then I'm gonna query for the name of my mid server. And then um, I'm gonna add that to my query, then I'm gonna query it, and then I'm gonna move on to the next record. And then I'm gonna uh, put to the console uh, what that value is. It should be true. And then I'm gonna set it to false. 
I'm going to update the server, and then I'm going to log that again to the console so I can see now that it's false. So um, let's go ahead for uh, purposes of showing this. Let's get rid of this update statement and just show that right now the and that we'll get rid of the uh, changing it to false. So now we just should see that it should be true, right? So let's go ahead and run that, and we see that the value for auto invalidated is true, which is correct. Um, and that's why my server is not coming back up and running. So let's go ahead and set that to false, and then we'll update the mid server record, and then uh, we'll put that back on there, and it should say now true. Or no, it should say false. So it should be true when it logs it, and then it should change it to false, which it did, right? So we got true right here, and then it changed it to false. And now if I go back to my mid servers, I should see that both of them now auto invalidated are set to false, which is correct, but my mid server is still down and not validated. So let's go ahead and bring Docker back up over here and we will stop the server again. And uh, let me get back to the logs here. Let that catch up there for a second and then we'll go ahead and start it. And hopefully now when I start this server, it doesn't automatically shut itself back down. So let's go ahead and watch the record there. We want to see that status go from down to up. And uh, I'm watching on the left hand side there to see that it stays up and doesn't shut back down. It's getting some instance ACLs. We got a signature. There it goes up. Let's hopefully it stays up. Yep, it's not shutting back down like it was before. And here is my um, Docker where it's doing all this stuff. Now, notice that it is no longer validated. This was a validated mid server. It is no longer validated. It's set to no. So we need to rerun validation on this, which is going to restart the mid server. Um, so let's go ahead and click that validate related link. In fact, I see something happening over here. Let me just make sure that it's calmed down. It's loading some MIBs and installing some packages. Everything's up to date, it says. Um, subscribe to the AMB channel. Okay, so it's settled down. It's subscribed for any events that happen. So let's go ahead and validate it. And that should shut it down. I'll watch it here. And I could put this up on the screen too behind my head so you can see what's going on in the Docker container. There it goes. It's coming down. I can even shut off my head there so we don't see uh, me in the way. Now it's coming back up. It is up now and it should go validated. It is true. And it is. It's true. So we did good there. We're up, back up and running. Um, man, I've never seen this happen before. So what happened, obviously, to to make this happen is that I didn't wasn't doing anything with this mid server. I created it. I wasn't changing anything. And um, I wanted to come around and get back to it, I guess. Service now or the instance doesn't like a mid server just sitting there doing nothing. So now this mid server is back up and running. Um, it is up, set to validated. And let's go ahead and since you saw that it was opening incidents for me, let's go ahead and kill um, those incidents. Let's just refresh this. There's probably going to be, yeah, there's five incidents now um, because it went down a couple of times. And as it went down, went up. And I think the earliest one was number 93. So I'm going to do something. I'm going to make this incident the parent incident for these other ones here and i take advantage of the auto close feature for incidents which i don't think works in the workspace believe it or not so we'll just go ahead and go to incidents here in the regular classic legacy ui whatever you want to call it we'll search for that incident number number 93 and there's my docker container was down so we'll just go ahead and put in a resolution for resolved by change and I uh, set the auto invalidated back to false from true using background scripts and restarted the server then revalidated. Look at that, me being all official, I'll even put my name as system administrator on there and I'll hit my resolve button. That took care of the incident. If I go back to my workspace now, and I should see I have no more active incidents. It closed them all down. Perfect. And if I look at my mid servers, let's go ahead and refresh that list. They're all up and validated. So I can close that window and I can close my Mac OS Docker 
mid server there and then we'll just refresh my dashboard i'm back to zero active incidents and two active mid servers and uh that's it so the really the part that i'll put in the notes in my blog obviously and maybe in the youtube description and i can put, can't put that in the description i'll put it on my blog is that script i used to set the mid server back to auto underscore invalidated equals false so that I could restart my mid server. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe or share with somebody who you think might be interested in restoring their mid server that was auto invalidated and they can't start it back up. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.